<laughs> but Amy, here's what she said. She, think it, she said, I think it's not fair to Judge Kavanaugh for her not to come forward and testify. Both of them need to testify under oath on Monday before the committee. Your reaction to that from Collins? I agree. I mean, I think that they both do need to testify. She has made an accusation against him that, for something that's a crime. And so we do need to hear from her. And I think Kavanaugh, we need to hear from him as well. But it's not like, Cheryl, this is going to be a, a hearing where they're seated at the same table together. Right. Um, Chairman Grassley has made it clear that he's given her every opportunity. They'll fly to California. They'll do it behind closed doors. However, she wants to do it, but they do want to hear from her. And, um, and so, I hope that she does come forward and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the FBI is going to get involved, she needs to talk to the FBI as well. Well, Scott, though, it, this really doesn't seem to be uh, at this point in an, an FBI um, role. I mean, he's already gone through the background check from the FBI earlier. But at the same time, you know, she's, she's, been, she's been told flat out, if you want to come and, and testify behind closed doors, do this privately without the cameras, that's fine. And she's still saying no. And well, it's the I think the political side of this is kind of becoming more apparent that the Democrats seem to be trying to delay any vote <laughs> on confirming Kavanaugh. Well, if the Democrats are trying to delay a vote, then the Republicans are trying to rush the vote. This is very serious stuff. I'm a former sex crimes prosecutor from New York. Uh, the experts in this, these types of investigations are really, really important. You know, the politics of the House and the, rather the Senate and the GOP and the Dems have kind of gotten in the way of this. I will agree with you all on that. But I do think that the politics, despite the politics, that the FBI investigates a lot of stuff and that the House GOP, or rather the Senate GOP, mm -hmm. can certainly delegate it to them. I mean, the the FBI investigate, does the background check on Kavanaugh already. I understand this didn't come up, but we've got to take it seriously. I, I think the GOP does, I, but I also yeah. think you can't rush it either. I, and and I no matter what sides. happens in the midterms. No, I right. think both sides, it's been very made very clear, both sides take this very, these are serious allegations. No one is going to mm -hmm. ignore a woman who says that she was assaulted, obviously. I think it's the way, Amy, that it's being handled. And, and look, her attorney, to, to, to his point, actually, her attorney said the rush to a hearing is unnecessary and contrary to the committee discovering the truth. But Feinstein had this over the summer. She sat on this. And I think that's where this is kind of, you, you kind of have to question the motives behind all of this and the well, timing of this, Amy. Exactly, Cheryl. I mean, and the problem is they keep moving the goalposts. That's one of the biggest issues. And as of last night, and I don't know for, as far as today has gone, but as of last night, Chairman Grassley was saying they couldn't even get a response from her attorney, but the attorney was issuing statements to the media. So right there is a problem, and the Democrats are refusing to get on these conference calls and mm -hmm. refusing to partake in the investigative part of it. So, you know, it is a big problem because it does appear that this is a delay tactic for political reasons, mm -hmm. and the American people are tired of these games from both sides. <laughs> yeah. So let's yeah. hear from her, let's hear from Kavanaugh, right. and then hold a vote. On it. Scott, real quick, I, yeah. I do need, I'm out of time, but I do want to give you the last uh, word. Yeah, the Scott, GOP, the GOP drives this narrative. The criticism of the of the of the Senate process isn't so much the Democrats trying to delay; it's that the Republicans are trying to rush. You know, no matter what happens in the midterms, the Republicans are going to be in control at least into the first part of January. So there is no real rush. They held the Mayor Garland uh, nomination for a year, and so I think the Republicans have to be careful because mm -hmm. women and suburban women and independents are looking closely at this. I wouldn't rush it. I'd give her time. Mm. I'd have the FBI do it. And both sides should want that to happen. I think either way, I think we all kind of want to hear from her and hear her side of the story. Hopefully Absolutely. we're going to get it soon. Hopefully we're not going to have to wait too long. Scott and Amy, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate the discussion. Thank you.